Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Daily Dose of Hope. I am Chaplain Bob, and you are watching the Daily Dose of Hope. Now, hopefully, you're watching clearly, although it looks like it's very slow right now. It's probably because my wife is online, and I am also online, so let me see what happens here. Let me adjust a few things here are you seeing okay if you are give me an emoji and let me know that you're seeing everything okay i'm going to turn off my phone wi-fi see if that helps me out a little bit maybe it does maybe it doesn't anyways my name is chaplain bob and you're watching the daily dose of hope thank you so much for watching the daily dose of hope the daily dose of hope is a place that you can come to on a daily basis to connect directly with God. And that's right, today we're going to be in Psalm 85. Never preached on this before, but it's a really good uh, chapter and it's a very good uh, passage. We're going to be in verses 8 and 9, and you can see it on the screen next to me here. It says, I will listen to what God the Lord says. Let's go ahead and bow our heads. Lord God, Mighty Father, we thank you and praise you for being a mighty, powerful God. We love you. We praise your holy name. We give you all the honor and glory that you deserve. Lord, as we go through Psalm 85, Lord, uh, verses 8 and 9, help us to retain this information. Help us to be able to spread this information and share it with as many people as we can. This is the truth, the truth of your word, Lord. Thank you so much. We love you, Lord. We pray all of this in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. Okay, again, my name is Chaplain Bob, and I am a grateful believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, serving here in the eastern slopes of Metro Manila, and it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon, and we are going to go ahead and deal with this, I think it's a Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi problem, it keeps going in and out, uh, but we're going to deal with it, and we're going to continue to share the Word of God. So let's do this, let's go to Psalm 85, verses eight and nine. I have it up on the screen. Let me put the text up there. See if you can see it clearly. Okay, there it is. And my title for this is really simple. It just says, what did you say? So the question is, what did God say to you? What did God say to this psalmist? We don't know who the psalmist is here. We just know that the psalmist was very uh, intent on listening to what God had to say, and he knew God would come through with his promises. He's using the word here, shalom. If you know what the word shalom means, go ahead and put it down in our little uh, chat box down there, and uh, we can discuss that later. But the psalmist here is trying to use or say the word shalom, okay? So let's look at these two verses, Psalm 85, verse 8 and 9. I will listen to what God will say. Surely the Lord will declare peace to his people, his godly ones. His salvation is very near to those who fear him, so that glory may dwell in our land. Okay, so we have just two verses here, and these two verses exemplify that word shalom, okay? And if again, if you know what shalom means, or you want to take a guess at what it means, put it down in the chat so that we can connect with each other, and I can answer those questions off air. I will listen to what God will say. Now, the question is, that I asked you, the question I put in our title is, what did you say? And that's the question that we all have to be answering uh, as we go through this sermon, okay? The psalmist says, I will listen to what God will say. Surely the Lord will declare peace to his people, his godly ones. Now, how do you become a godly one? Okay? If you're a Jew, you're in this time, during this psalm uh, being written, you are a uh, chosen one. You're the chosen one of God. Okay? What about in the year 2021? 
you are considered a child of God or you're his people, his godly ones, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, that he was the Son of God and that he came to this earth to give life, not to condemn, but to give life in its fullness. If you believe that, then you are one of his godly ones. So look at what the psalmist says here. I will listen to what God will say. Futuristic will say in the future. How do we know what God is saying? We've got to read his word. We've got to go backwards, right? We've got to go back to the Old Testament, listen to some of these sermons that I, that I produce here on the Daily Dose of Hope, but also be reading our text, reading the Scripture. Then we can go ahead to the New Testament, which is still really going backwards because all of this was written thousands of years ago. And it was all inspired by God, and it's 100% the truth. Then we will know what God will say. So the psalmist says, I will listen to what God will say. Surely the Lord will declare peace to his people, his godly ones. If you want to be one of his people, you've got to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And God will declare peace. God will have his way with everything. God gets his way all of the time. Nothing ever surprises God. COVID doesn't surprise God. The lockdown doesn't surprise God. The mandates don't surprise God. The out-of-control spending in the United States by a radical group of Democrats doesn't surprise God. God continues to plow forward no matter what. It's his story. It's history. He's already written it. Let's look what it says here in verse 9. His salvation, meaning what? The future. What happens to your life when you die? Everybody asks that question. What is salvation? Salvation is what happens when you die. Are you, is your body going to die and your soul going to die? Are you going to face a second death like it says in Revelation 20? Or... Are you going to go on living forever and ever and ever? And Jesus Christ, the Savior, the risen Savior, He provides the path to salvation. He provides a path to a relationship with God the Father. I believe God forgives. I receive salvation, a home in heaven. I also get a purpose for living on this earth. God puts certain good things in my mind, in my DNA for me to do. And when I do those, I become overwhelmed with joy because I'm doing it in the name of the Lord. Now, back to the text. His salvation is very near those who fear him. What does it mean to fear God? The him is God. What does it mean to fear him? It means to have faith in him, to trust in him, to follow him him to abide in him then it says comma so that glory may dwell in our land so if you're in the united states right now and you're feeling pinched you're feeling pressured by a lot of the radicalism and a lot of the evil that's taking place in the united states put your faith put your trust fear god and when you do you will receive peace Ultimately, you may not receive the peace today, but you're going to receive the peace ultimately because God never breaks a promise. And ultimately, when we fear him, glory dwells in our land. If people right now would turn in the Philippines to the Lord Jesus Christ, or people would turn right now in the United States and and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, there would be glory in in those countries. Korea. Why is Korea so prosperous since the 1950s? Because they turned to the Lord. It was at one time the fastest growing uh, spread of the gospel and the fastest growing Christian uh, land. 
Now there's a few other countries that have surpassed that. I believe someday that will come to China. China is the fastest growing place in the world for Christianity. And when people turn to the Lord, God's glory shines in that land, not the glory of the government, not the glory of the president, but the glory of God the Father. Turn to the Lord today. Now, back to our question. What did you say? Well, listen to what God said. Look at this in context. I will listen to what you will say, God. I'm going to listen very carefully. But here's some things I know about you, God. First, you're going to declare peace to people like me who trust you and trust your son, Jesus Christ. I'm considered one of your godly ones. Thank you, Lord. And your salvation, I know it's near to me. It's near to all those that believe in your son, Jesus Christ, and that fear you, that have faith in you, Lord, so that your glory may dwell in this country where I'm at right now. That's what God said to you. So, are you ready to fear Him? Are you ready to put your faith in Him? Are you ready to turn to Him? It's imperative that you do this today. Let's bow our heads. Lord God, Mighty Father, we thank You and praise You for being a mighty, powerful God. We love You. We thank You, Lord. We praise Your holy name. We pray, Lord, that many will come to your Son, Jesus Christ, and say, I believe. We love you, Lord. We pray all of this in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. Well, I think we made it through today. Uh, we did have some technical difficulties. I may be a little bit slow in movement. Looks like I am. But hopefully you can hear me loud and clear. And hopefully you'll press the button down below and push share, share, share. Send this to as many people as you can. And also go to our YouTube page. Go to our, um, our uh, Rumble page and subscribe to those channels. All right, everybody. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Keeps falling and wonder where